I have been complaining about uh, the weather we had, particularly in November and the beginning of December, but one of the consequences of the weather was that we've got a bumper crop of lemons on this tree and oranges on this tree. And it's uh, just coming up to Christmas and that's the normal time for the oranges uh, to start to ripen. So we'll be having some fresh orange juice from our oranges on Christmas Day. And Anita's going to be picking some lemons now and perhaps one or two oranges uh, to make some mince pies. Hello everybody and welcome to my lovely garden. I'm just going to go and get some lemons now and an orange for my mince pies. And please join me in the garden. And one more. Oh, there we are. Two lemons there. And I'll head over to the oranges. Orange, and these oranges are really the best oranges in the world. Oh, that one as well. No pips and lots of juice. So here's my ingredients for the mince pies or some of them. Oh, this smells so nice. These are fresh from the tree. If I can get this knife through it, inside one of our beautiful oranges. Right, so I think I've got everything at hand ready for these delicious mince pies, and they really are, my, my mince pies are the best, even though I say it myself. So what we need are 12 tablespoons of flour. This is just um, one, two, three, four, six. Try for six first. This is just um, plain flour. Don't need to use self raising. Six, and I don't do, do any weighing in this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you sieve it, get all the lumps out. Not that it's very lumpy anyway. So we've got our flour, now we add the ground almonds, lovely ground almonds here. We have two generous spoons of these, which you can really taste in the mince pies as well. And we add four spoons of icing sugar. Four. And that's the basis for the pastry. lemon and orange juice here. The messy bit, and I always used to like, like to use English butter, so I've got some Irish Kerrygold here, right, nearly English anyway. So this is the butter I'm going to use. I have had it out of the fridge so it's a little bit softer. And all of this butter's going in, a bit like James Martin with his butter. So if we just cut it up. Cut it up. I was going to put some nail varnish on, but I'm going to put it on after I've done this. Waste any. And then, can you take that spoon out? And then, it needs rubbing in gently until it's like breadcrumbs. So here's 
get all the butter rubbed into the flour. Eggs, two large eggs. One. And we keep the whites here for pushing the top of the mince pies when they're done. Let's see. And it's quite a soft dough that this comes out to be. So it's at the stage now I think I need to get in there. And this is where you get a bit sticky, but oh, it feels good. As if it's all going to come together. Amazing, just those two egg yolks can do that. They're magic things, aren't they, eggs? I usually, it's, there's a lot here. This is going to probably make about 30 odd mince pies. Just stick to There's one nice ball of dough. And the same with this lot. Stick together as well as sticking to me, and as if by magic, there we have our dough. So I kept my kept my flour out. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a knead. With a K. So I'm just need this a little bit like that. This one's nice, and the other one. And there we are. And now, to give me a chance to tidy up, I'm going to put those in some cling film and stick them in the fridge for about half an hour. So see you soon. And it always has to be Robinson's mincemeat. So I'm going to go with this now. I'm going to put it in here. So it needs a little bit of spicing up for Christmas I think. Stick it on here. So I've taken all the mincemeat out and just put a splosh of Terry's, Terry's brandy. So there's the mincemeat, smells just like Christmas. This is the mint, this is the pastry that's been nicely chilling in the fridge for about half an hour. And we put some flour on the board and get ready to roll it out. As I say to Indian Freya when we play with our play do roll and turn. Keep turning it over, roll and turn. Roll it out and turn. Really nice consistency for pastry. And you can see the bits of lemon and orange in it as well. Don't let it stick to the board, that's why we have to roll and turn it. And we roll it out till it's about the thickness, I think it's supposed to be the thickness of a pound coin. Turn it once more. No. Okay, first lot done. So I've here are the pastry cutters, so we're going to do the big ones first. So we put some turn and place them there. We don't need to oops. We don't need to grease these at all. So we go for filling this up first. And it's one little bit of Christmas that I love doing mince pies. And they also freeze very nicely as well. So you don't freeze and they don't last very long with uh, my husband around, as you can imagine. Excuse me. A bit thick in the middle, so I'll just roll it out again. Try and get as many as we can out of here. I'll try and do 12 on here. Thank you. 
putting the mincemeat in and I suggest not putting too much in because they all, it all spills out of the side so that is plenty just a tiny little bit on a teaspoon put it in. doesn't look very much but if you put too much much in it overflows around the sides so there they are filled now ready for their tops on and I brush it with egg yolk and gently stick it down. This is like the do, I suppose. Just brush it all with egg yolk and put the top on. Press it down. And just the right amount that it doesn't come out round the sides. So now, now we add the bit of egg wash onto the top here just to brown them off. I don't like them too brown when we cook them as you'll see when I've done them. And the last thing we need to do which is something that my mum always did with hers was to get a fork and stick it in. And this is to let some air in as well as make them look nice. And there they are, ready to go to the oven. And here they are, finished, about 10 minutes in the oven, and they're ready. It really is the most delicious crumbly pastry. Melt in your mouth, they're called melt in your mouth mince pies. And I think they really are. I'm going to sprinkle them with a bit of icing sugar, just to dress them up a bit. So if you're around here at Christmas time, please come and have a mince pie with us. Wish you more than that, welcome. If any's left. If there's any left. <laughs> this is the way I do this, just to um, not make a mess everywhere. Just a bit of icing sugar on them. Well, all ready for you to try. <laughs>